Good morning, everyone. All right, this morning, I want to talk about footprints. Have you ever put your foot in some cement and let it harden? Maybe on a sidewalk, maybe on a, a driveway, or you put your hand in something and you get a footprint or a print of your hand? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Have you ever been on a beach and you see the, the wave coming up and the water in the beach gets wet and then you end up walking through it and you look back and there are some footprints in the sand? Well, if you've ever done any of these things, as you get older, your foot gets larger. And then you go out and you measure it. And wow, you've gotten a lot bigger, haven't it? Haven't you then than you when you first made it? Well, there's another kind when we can make a footprint. Have you been ever outside when it rains and then walk through the mud? And you look back and there's your footprint. And sometimes it gets water back in it, doesn't it? Because it's it's uh, been raining out there. Oh boy, I did that and then what happens? I get hungry and I run in the house and I think, oh, I'm so hungry, I need to have something to eat. Well, you look back and what do you see? Muddy footprints all over mom's floors. Wow, we forgot to wipe our feet off, didn't we? Pets do that too lots of times when you bring them in out of the rain and they have muddy footprints all over. Well, this morning I brought a picture along that I also included so that you could color it. And they're footprints. You can cut them out. You can make more. You can make colored ones if you have construction paper. And then when you get done, you can put them on the floor and it'll lead you maybe to the kitchen table, maybe to your bedroom, or maybe you have a special place uh, in your house where you have a library, or maybe you just have your Bible sitting someplace and we can make our footprints to lead us to that Bible or if you have a little cross in your house, maybe to the cross. If we were in church today, you might see these footprints that I would put to lead to the front of the church and up by the cross. And then whose footprints would they be? My guess is they would be footprints leading us to Jesus, right? God puts all things under Jesus' feet. Jesus is the ruler over all of us. If he were a king of uh, the country or like in England or someplace like that, he would be the ruler over all of the people. Of course, that was many years ago. Well, today is a special Sunday in our lives, and it's called Christ the King Sunday. Christ is our King, and we are under his feet. It's a great day to celebrate. Jesus wants, went to the cross and wants us to follow him. And what did he do after he was put on the cross? He rose again, didn't he? And he became our king in our religion and in Christianity. And we believe in him. So today we can say Jesus is our king and we can walk in the way that he teaches us to walk. If he's with us, both in front of us so that we can follow him. He's behind us so that if we need help, he can be there to help us. 
or he can walk beside us. We have to remember that because he is our Lord and Savior. Remember, the footprints lead to the cross and also to Jesus. This is the last Sunday of the church year. And what did I say we call it? Christ the King Sunday. So let's have a short prayer. Dear Lord, help us to remember that the footsteps that we made today and the footsteps that we make every day help us to follow Jesus to the cross and he becomes our Savior and he is with us forever and ever. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great day. I hope you also have a very happy Thanksgiving. And from us to you, have a wonderful time, even in this pandemic, where you can thank God and thank Jesus for our families. I hope you're enjoying the lessons that Margaret and Megan have been sending us. And I wanted to tell you that we did 18 shoe boxes this year. So those were sent off. So I thank you all for that. And I also want to remind you, Jan said that this week, Tuesday, is the day for food pantry, that she will be taking food if anybody has it at church. She'll take it down to a Bangor so it can be distributed. Just one more a mission that we, we do. And I hope you remember your um, offering, your penny offerings, because we're going to be doing that right through Christmas. Again, have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a great day. And God loves you. And we love you. See you next time.